Hello everybody, good morning. No, not morning, it's definitely almost noon. Welcome back to another vlog. I am actually just headed out the door right now because I'm going to meet up with my friend Macy, Eleni, or Blazed and Glazed. You might know her on YouTube or TikTok. I'm gonna meet her for lunch and I just got ready. I'm finishing up getting dressed. I just had the idea to throw on this necklace that Karina made. She makes these amazing necklaces and like, look how cute this is. So here's my look for the day. Actually, I'm gonna put on my shoes first. I decided to go for these cute red boots because um, I just wanted a little pop of color. So that's what we're gonna do. These are by Journey Collection and they make amazing boots for uh, wide calves. This is not sponsored, I paid my own money. <laughs> I have an entire wide calf boots video that I filmed like, I don't know, late last year. So I'll link that in case you wanna see it. But, oh, this is gonna be so cute. It's kind of giving me like Phoebe Buffay vibes in the best way. It's like a little bit of a fun 90s look. So I decided to just throw my hair up because it's pissing me off. I have these like fun big silver hoops on. I have the necklace that Karina made. I have this top from Hollister, I think, and this thrifted skirt and then my red boots. We're gonna head out the door. Oh, I need some sunglasses. I think for the sunglasses, we're just gonna go classic black. I'm gonna grab my bag and we're gonna go head out the door and go to lunch. It's a freaking beautiful day. I'm so excited, so let's go. Millennial, peace sign. with not only one Macy, but two! <laughs> There's two of them! We just finished up lunch, it was so lovely. I also wanna say hi to their mom, um, oh gosh, because, mama. yeah, to Miss, yes. to Miss Marilyn. I wanted to say hello because they told me that you watch the vlogs when you take your morning hogger walks, which love that for you. Um, and I just wanted to say hi. I love the two children you created. They're absolutely magnificent. Love you, mom. Anyways, <laughs> love you, mom. Such a lovely lunch and we're gonna do it again soon. We have like lots of summer plans, all the good things. And now we're headed home, but we will reunite soon. We will. <laughs> Hello, it is actually the next day and I'm just getting ready to do some things, but I was unboxing or unbagging a recent Old Navy order that I got and I thought I would show you because I'm not doing like an entire main channel video because it's literally mostly just loungewear stuff with like a couple other things. I just like don't have enough cute loungewear, pajamas, things like that. And Old Navy really just is like back in its era, I swear. Everyone I know is like talking about it. I just really like the quality. I like that the stuff is pretty much always on sale. Like there's just a lot of really good things and it's size inclusive. So anyways, um, I got a couple, I got like one for lounge, two loungewear thingies, three pairs of pajamas and then like some other things. So anyways, First thing I got, I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I wore this to bed last night and I haven't washed it yet, but it is this tank top and high-waisted pajama pants set. And it's just like a kind of charcoal gray color, but I do need to wash those, but I'm sorry. I don't know if that's gross. I just really wanted to, <laughs> to wear it to bed last night. Um, The next thing I got was, I think this is called the Sunday Sleep. It's not like the softest thing in the world, but I just really like it for casual pajamas because I feel like everything I sleep in these days is like an oversized t-shirt and like ratty old shorts like that are years old and just like aren't cute. So I wanted to get some more little matching sets. So I saw this little lavender colored one that has a short sleeve shirt, really cute. I got all of this stuff in a size XL by the way, which like is a little bit roomy on me, but that's what I want for sleeping, you know, very comfortable. So it's got this like floral print and then I got the matching shorts. So cute, very spring timey. And then I actually got these cause they were on sale and I'm pretty sure they're Easter pajamas. Cause I also got the hearts ones for Valentine's day and I really like them and they're comfy. And like you can wear this year round, you know? So this one has some little chicks with bunny ears on it. I don't know, I just think that's really cute. Same thing, like matching shorts to go with it. Love that one. And then, oh, also I did get another pair of pajamas um, from Amazon. I had gotten this pair originally um, and they were like a size too big. I didn't order the right size. I like sized up because I just thought. I saw um, Rosie Blair recommend 
recommend them on Instagram. I love her recommendations. She's great. I've talked about her for years. And I sized up, but I wish I hadn't. And then I forgot them in Japan. Like I accidentally left them in the hotel room. So I ordered another pair. This pair is a little bit different. It's like a polka dot pair. And I love how it's got like sort of a ruffly hem around the sleeves. And then same thing for the matching shorts. And like, look how cute that is. This little pajama set adorable so that's all i got for pajamas and then for a couple loungewear things i mean if you remember last year i was really on a bender with old navy's jumpsuits like their little loungewear jumpsuits and i got another one and this one is like a little bit of a different material it's kind of similar to the pajamas but it's this striped almost like wide leg jumpsuit and it's got i think they're navy blue stripes or maybe they're black i'm not sure but then it's got like this sort of henley style buttons in the front and i just think this is so cute for lounging around the house so did i get a tall in this no i just got a regular xl but i think they sell them in talls as well and then i finally if you know you know i'm obsessed with these old navy jumpsuits the like long leggings ones i have two or three of them i wear them all the time i love them and i thought for summertime i would pick up one of the ones that has shorts so i got just this normal kind of like strappy i guess this is like racer back and it has freaking shorts and it's gonna be so cute like i'll literally wear this as an outfit over the summer i was gonna wear this today but i'll tell you in a minute i need to like be able to Anyway, and then a couple random things. Um, actually, when I was in Laguna last week with my YouTube partner manager and Alexa, she was saying that I influenced her to get like some old navy jumpsuits and then she was wearing the cutest tank top and it had a built-in bra in it. And I was like, where's that from? And she was like, old navy. And I was like, oh my God. So I picked up two of them. I got this baby pink one. So it is a literal tube top with a built-in bra inside of it or like a little shelf bra, you know? And like how cute is that for summer? So that's gonna be like such a go-to. It's a really thick material as well, like very well made. I'm telling you, Old Navy's basics are like not to be slept on. And then I also got it in white because you know, summertime when I'm tan, hopefully that'll be cute with like denim shorts, jeans. You can wear it with like pattern things, skirts, pants. I'm obsessed with these. And like this Uniqlo tank that I'm wearing right now has a built-in bra and it has little cups. Those don't have cups, but I have just been like in this phase right now where I don't want to wear bras. <laughs> I mean, I used to not wear them at all. And then when I gained a little bit of weight, like my boobs got bigger and then they just like kind of sweat underneath. So I need just something under there. And like when I'm wearing cute tank tops, I don't want to have bra straps hanging and I haven't found a good strapless bra yet, to be honest. So I just really don't want a top if it doesn't have a built-in bra in it these days. So speaking of, this is the last thing I got, I promise. I got this little lime green halter top and I just thought this was so cute, so spring and summery. And and again, it does have the little mini shelf bra in it and it's really soft and like ribbed. I love it. So anyways, I will leave links to everything down below in case you want to check them out, but I love everything I bought. <laughs> anyway, I need to take Layla outside. I am actually getting ready to head to the doctor. Um, we'll chat about it in a minute, but first I need to take Layla outside, do her little lunch routine. Sorry, I'm reading a text. There's some drama going on in my hometown. Not anything to do with me or like, it was just like someone I went to high school with. But anyways, I actually need to get moving. So we'll be back in a, a few to chat. All right, in the car now, I'm gonna head to my appointment. And basically um, I'm going to see the gastroenterologist today fun stuff i don't know if you remember but probably like a month ago ish um i had a really weird stomach incident which i now believe was potentially a gallbladder attack and it was the scariest most painful thing i've ever been through in my life like it was genuinely so so scary and so pretty much immediately after that happened i booked this appointment but there was like a month wait so maybe i'll talk more about it when we get home but this is just like a preliminary visit i don't think anything's gonna happen today i would imagine likely there will be like some blood work or ultrasounds or something like that um but today is just the first appointment and i just have um stomach issues in general i actually haven't been to the gastro doctor since i was probably like 
19 or 20. I had an endoscopy one time. I've had just stomach issues my entire life. And then that's when I got diagnosed with IBS and like all this different kind of stuff. So all around that same time. And it was basically just like, oh yeah, you have IBS and like anxiety. Um, but it's just good to stay on top of those things. You know, I'm not someone who like goes to the doctor a ton. And actually the last time I was at any kind of doctor besides when I went to urgent care for my ear thing after I flew to Japan um, was probably like when I went to the OBGYN and they were like, mm, yeah, the reason you have bad periods is because you're fat. And I was just like, ah, it was just like not a great experience. So I'm just trying to prepare myself mentally because the last time I went to the doctor, it wasn't, it wasn't a great time. But anyway, got my mask, got my directions pulled up and we're going to head to the doctor and hopefully get some answers for, or at least start the journey of getting some answers for what is going on in my abdomen and my stomach. So we'll see. Right, so I'm back. I got my blood, ow, my blood drawn. Just punched my car. Um, and I don't know. I'm feeling a little confused. Obviously, I'm gonna continue to like listen to the doctors that I deal with and you know listen to their advice. But he said that he didn't it didn't sound to him like it was my gallbladder, which I was very confused by because like everyone else was like that definitely sounds like a gallbladder attack. So um, they drew some blood, they ordered, they have to order an ultrasound, they couldn't do that today. So they're gonna call me to schedule that. And then they're also gonna give me a SIBO test. It sounds kind of miserable because you can only eat like boiled chicken for like a day beforehand. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna do what I've been told. I was just on antibiotics, so I have to wait like another week and a half until I'm able to take this. Um, but yeah, we'll see what the, the blood work results say. And then we'll also see what the ultrasound says. Um, and that'll give, you know, a little bit of a better indication. And then if we have to do further testing, he said we can do that. And then we'll just take it from there. So so it's just a waiting game. So anyways, I'm gonna head back inside and we'll catch up tomorrow because I'm just gonna make dinner with Drew. That was tiring. So I'm gonna go relax now. And hopefully we'll get some answers soon. Good morning. It is now Saturday morning. So yesterday was just a work day, but Drew and I woke up. It's like about 8.30 a.m. right now. We woke up, we like took Layla on a walk and we were like, let's go like get brunch or something. We're not really brunch people. I mean, sometimes, but the mood just, you know, struck us. We were like, yeah, let's go do it. I'm not usually like super hungry when I wake up. I mean, I've been up since like six, so that's probably why, but yeah, we were just in the mood. So I'm putting on my Converse now. I actually have on this old Navy like jumpsuit thingy. That is my favorite thing in the entire world. It's so comfortable. I can't get this on my foot. I literally live in this. And then as you saw earlier, I got the shorts version and I was gonna wear that, but it's in the like laundry hamper. We're gonna wear the pants one, which is fine. Cause I probably need to self tan anyways. Okay. And we figured since this weekend is the second weekend of Coachella, we would just take advantage of, you know, less crowds. So this is my outfit of the morning for brunch. I'm wearing, like I said, the old Navy jumpsuit. This flannel <laughs> is actually like very sentimental. This is Drew's flannel from probably like 2009 and when we used to work together he used to wear this flannel to work all the time we had like a very casual dress code at our job so he would always wear like a graphic tee with this flannel over it or like one of these flannels and i don't know if you can see it but it actually like has holes in it and i just can't get rid of it it's like so sentimental to me so i decided to wear it today it just reminds me of like when we first met my hat i got on poshmark i don't know the brand because there's no tag and then i think this flannel he got at like h&m maybe got my platform black converse i wear these every second of every day and these glasses are from amazon so we're gonna head in the car grab some brunch and then see what else we get up to on this lovely saturday it's very hot by the way i need to make sure i take my omeprazole i got prescribed like a higher dose of omeprazole by the gastro doctor to hopefully like i don't know there's just a lot of things going on it wasn't just the um 
gallbladder thing but i have been doing more research on SIBO and it's not something i was ever like super familiar with and like i have a lot of the symptoms so we'll see whenever i have to take that test how that ends up going but yeah in the meantime i'm on a meprazole i'm also really sad because yesterday i was supposed to go to san diego to go stay with sierra and i ended up having to cancel because my stomach was just like messed up and i figured since i've been in like some stomach pain and my stomach just hasn't been right i don't want to drive like two and a half hours away and be away from home and have to like deal with all that so we're gonna reschedule for pretty soon and then also my mom was supposed to come this weekend my mom was supposed to be here tomorrow she was on like a trip and she was gonna stop here on the way back from her trip but then we forgot that coachella ends tomorrow and like everybody is gonna be driving back to la and she just doesn't want to sit in that traffic and i don't blame her i warned her i was like do you want to cancel she was like yeah so that'll be next time anyways i'm talking too much let's go to brunch bye some like shaken iced lattes I think. It has cocoa powder on it, it has vanilla in it, it's delicious. This banana bread, unreal. If you ever come to Great White for breakfast, please get the banana bread. It's amazing. Back home, and now it's time for family chill time on the patio. Lay down, Layla. It is much later in the day now. It's like 8.30 p.m. We've had the best day just like relaxing. It's been so, like a true reset day. We've been like doing laundry, cleaning up, all that kind of stuff. We sat outside for a while, that was amazing. And just finished eating dinner and we're watching The Last of Us. Don't give me any spoilers, but we're finally starting it. We're like always late on shows like that. Um, I washed my hair, dried it. I'm feeling nice and fresh. I'm of course in one of my <laughs> old navy little lounge onesies. It's the best. And I have been seeing this snack everywhere or dessert everywhere on TikTok lately and I thought I would show you because in my last video when I did the grocery haul which by the way some people really had like a lot of things to say about the groceries <laughs> the people who were really nice about it you're my people you get it but like who cares what other people eat anyway the other thing that I thought was funny is so many people were leaving comments about the fact that I brought fruit roll-ups I bought them for this like combo thing that I'm going to show you but apparently it's become like a like a, a dirty thing like a naughty thing <laughs> I just thought that was funny. That's not why I bought them, but I mean, who knows? You never know. Anyways, um, I am like obsessed with this snack that I saw on TikTok. There was this woman who made a TikTok who said that she basically opened a strawberry fruit roll up and then put sorbet in the middle of it. If you're on TikTok, you've seen this a bajillion times, but YouTube is not, there's not always like a 100% overlap. So you take the strawberry fruit roll up, you set it down, like so and then you take some kind of like ice cream or sorbet i've done it with mango ice cream like the haagen -Dazs mango ice cream i've done it with vanilla ice cream they're both delicious and then what we have right now is the sorbet this is the talenti dairy free one and you just take a little bit of your sorbet this is the weirdest thing but it's really good i feel silly because if you're on tiktok you've seen this 500 times but in case you haven't then you go in the middle right there, you wrap it up. I try to like close it up at the ends. When you do that, the ice cream like freezes the fruit roll up and it makes it crunchy <laughs> and it's so satisfying. So I'm gonna give it a quick second and then I'm gonna show you because this is nuts, okay? Listen to this. It's so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. You should definitely try it. I need to rinse my hand. Hold on. So anyway, that's my little snack that I wanted to show you that you've probably seen 10 bajillion times, but I'm gonna go enjoy it. It's a dessert for me. I don't know if it's a snack for other people. Um, we're already enjoying The Last of Us. I'm not ready to be emotionally destroyed, but it is what it is. So that's gonna do it for this vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we'll see you very soon for the next one.